What is going on? What up, what up? Out there in the anime world, this is episode 13 of The Collective, KOTV. We are missing one person, as you can see right now. Uh, he in the bathroom. He, he in the bathroom taking a shit or something. I don't, I don't know, know what's going on. <laughs> something. Uh, but today's episode is going to be about music theory. Um, this episode is kind of special to me because that's probably like the nerdiest thing that I have on my body on my person mm -hmm. is the fact that i well I, well i love music all the way around mm -hmm. uh just in general i listen to probably every genre but country i feel like that and metal i, I listen to metal have, that much I, I actually have like a metal song that i i listen to from uh tenacious d i don't know if y'all ever heard of him before mm -hmm. but it's jack black's um yeah what it's a it's, it's literally called the metal that's the name of the song <laughs> But, uh, okay. but yeah, I listen to I listen to everything. Like if it's great to me, I love it. And mm. um, I want to talk about when when it comes to music theory. I want to talk about just the music theory and whole how it um, resonates with people in general, and then mm -hmm. how it resonates with people that are in the anime world. I about to say we're specifically talking about anime, yeah, and gaming too, because mm -hmm. um, yeah, I always bring up I always bring up near because it's the one game that invokes all it, it touches every sense human mm. sense in my opinion like um it makes me go to sleep honestly the music it, it's so soothing um most of the time like when, when you're like traveling and stuff and you're playing the rpg and yeah you're actually like i don't know like you're taking a break and you're smoking whatever it is and you you know you're just listening to the music it's like uh, it's but nice. so on the surface yeah you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like on the surface I could see why that type of music can make people sleepy or just be a little more calm. In a good soothing. way, though, you know, in a, like definitely it, in a good way. Like it's very therapeutic, and it's like you say, like it makes you feel. Yeah. Welcome back. I'm back. Twenty pounds lighter, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we told the, we told the, the guests you were taking a shit. Oh man, listen, man. <laughs> we said it. We told him you were taking yeah, shit. Yeah, you taking a shit. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um. It's okay to have like on surface value to have that kind of feeling with that type of music, mm -hmm. but from a person that like me that just loves music just in general, like it to for me when I listen to anything, I can listen to instrumentals by themselves. I can listen to mm -hmm. all of that because for me, if the music quality is not hidden for me, most times your lyrics as an artist won't even touch me either. If the music quality, you could put it's been songs that I've heard that had trash as lyrics or lyrics that I don't even like resonate for myself, mm -hmm. but the music the, quality the is so fucking yeah. raw that I'd be like, oh, you know what? Let me you just know, find yeah. an instrumental <laughs> and, and I'll be okay with that. Um, <laughs> it's that deep for me. Mm. Like music is that deep for me. Um, even with dance, like um, that was the reason why that I've been so immersed in dance all through my life is because of music. Like I just love music so much. It of course makes you want to move your body. And if I'm mm -hmm. able to, why not? Mm -hmm. But we'll touch on on that more uh, later on in the show. Um, right now, though, we wanted to talk about the shows of the week because we have not talked about that oh in a while. God. Yes, and there's so many shows that have been and like, movies and movies and anime that have been out that we we haven't really touched on. Uh, specifically for me, right now, it'll be Boruto. Um, okay. Boruto has gotten to a space where I've had to read the manga had to and because you've gone past the what's on tv right yeah now. Okay. at this point and i'll just say that boruto is way better than naruto in so many 
spaces when it comes to the story like i could definitely see that it's so good like the deceit has already hit the hit the fan if you i don't know have y'all both been watching are y'all recent i'm Boto? not i'm not that I, caught up i'm not that caught up <laughs> what's up what are we talking about I'm not that caught up on Boruto, but from where I'm at, it's like the character development is a lot more. It's sped up a little bit more, which I'm happy about because yeah. it, it was a slow burn in the beginning. Because I'm just like, I don't yeah. know what they're doing. Yeah, I all mean, this I'm, kid shit. I'm glad it, it. I'm glad it picked up. Uh, mm -hmm. The characters are definitely a little more diverse, and mm -hmm. um, right now where they are, Koji Kashin and Jigen are about to fight or have fought because it, the episode came out today, and. Uh, yeah, that the climax of that fight is was about to shift the whole dynamic of the show. Literally, like it's about to shift the whole story. Um, and then even in the manga, they just introduced two more. You know, the car has these cyborgs. Mm. So you know, all the ones that you've been seeing, like Delta and Boro and um, Code and even Koji Kashin. In the manga, they introduced two more cyborgs, and these cyborgs, <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I, without me saying too much, they definitely gonna be in for a battle. Even yeah, even that's what I'm saying. Like the battle that's about to happen with Koji Kashin and and uh, Jigen, and then the battle that Naruto and Sasuke are about to have. I are feel about like to shift the whole dynamic. We're getting show. very close to what we saw in the first episode. Not no, I don't think so. You don't, you don't think so? I don't think so. Especially from what I read in the manga, I don't. I think I think they got a long way to go before you think they so? touch. I don't Shigen. know. I really I, do because he already has all these marks. He already has the marks. So it's like at this point, he must have a lot. He must has a like a lot of character development when it comes to these marks. When it comes to Who him, talking about uh, um, Boruto, his um, but he only his, just has the car his karma. Mark. Yeah, his karma. Yeah, and he had that in the in the first episode. We remember when you saw oh, that him? when you talk about when it comes to Boruto's character, we yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, that might be the same, but yeah. what I'm talking about is like really Kawaki's character. Because, oh, no, no, I'm only talking about the first, you know, the first episode. The first thing we saw was an older, yeah, no, uh, no, no, Boruto. I get what you're saying, yeah. like that karma that and everything part. stays the same, yeah, yeah. like, so even like if, if it's not coming soon, that means there's a lot of character development when it comes to him honing this power Facts. and oh, becoming yeah. him, and like, I that's think just they got who he is. I think I learned how to control her or some shit. Yeah. Because we already knew about some things about Boruto when it first started about what's going to happen at the end. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess the reason why I'm I'm feeling a little different about the outcome when it comes to that yeah. is because of just what I know with the story and how how the karma and even the 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 aliens because they're aliens at this point mm -hmm. um how are they they are they they explained it mm -hmm. they is yeah they're, they're, they're aliens. not from, from this world space. yeah they aliens from outer space these the way that these aliens are putting the karma on these these vessels and the mm -hmm. way that they have to strategically do it is what is making me feel like the ending when it comes to that part of the episode mm -hmm. is going to be so different like I think that the reason why I'm feeling that way is because we still don't know why Kawaki and Boruto, even now, we will not know. Because right now in the in the show, Kawaki and Boruto are like, they call each other brothers. Mm -hmm. They like brothers. So, and, and you don't know what the change is going to be. Yeah, we don't know what the change is going to be coming. because the yeah. story is now at a really huge part and they, they are sticking together. They, you, call, you know, they have that brotherly competition as we were talking about that's there but they literally been calling each other brothers and and really been looking out for each other because of this situation so mm -hmm. i feel like what we're about to see on that episode may not even have nothing to do with what's going on in this arc i personally feel like i feel like because it's it the 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 character building is is so much in boruto right now mm. like they're trying right. to make sure that you understand that they're they that they at least had that dynamic between each other, so they yeah. was friends. It's the Naruto and Sasuke thing. Well, it, that takes me by surprise because I legit thought it was gonna be Boruto and Mitsuki. Like I thought that's that what we wanted, happen. but yeah. that ain't what's gonna happen. Yeah. I know. I see that, and I'm just like, like you know, it was I'm too Naruto. About it, though, Even one more part, like the ending or in the beginning of Naruto, there's a the opening. You see a scene where he's kind of like uh, laying on the ground to kind of give an idea to think that he's dead. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's not. I'm not gonna tell you what happens, but I do remember on the first episode 
that he that Kawaki did say it insinuate that Naruto was dead. So it's got. I really feel like it's going to be something else that's that happen that's going to happen after this arc I, that's going to make their dynamic shift again. So maybe it's going to be just that Jigen took over his body. I really was. I've really been thinking about that lately. Yeah, it's really. I think it's really that Jigen gonna be. You know, I like Momo Shiki could take over. Well, Ish- Ishiki because. Well, yeah. But I, one of them niggas. Yeah, I feel like yeah. one of them niggas gonna I take think, over. I think that's gonna that's happen. That's what it is. Like you I gotta die because remember he told Boruto like, now nah, it's time for you to die like your dad. Yeah, bitch mm-hmm. ass nigga. There, that one. That one. Ka- Kawaki talking. That. But there's that. I do think, based again off of what I know in the manga, some shit happens Don't to Kawaki. I'm not gonna say anything, but some shit does happen to Kawaki where we're still trying to figure out if Ishiki is going to uh, take over Kawaki's body or not. Cause that's know. like even in the manga down, that's still up in the air. I've always had this whole like thing in the back of my head, thinking that Boruto is going to have something to do with Naruto's death if Naruto does die. That's going to be so crazy, dude. I feel like Boruto will have something shit. to do with Na- it. Boruto actually in the middle of the battle did some shit. I can't tell you, but he did some shit that was like, oh, okay, now Boruto. We know like, there's a there's there has <laughs> been some. This been and, some, and let's just say it was Momoshiki. Let's let's just say that. But it was right because he's at this point, he's basically possessed. Like, if he's in real big trouble, Momoshiki is like this other person, like but almost Mom- Jujutsu Kaisen. But, at this but point. Momoshiki, the difference between like Karama and Naruto versus Boruto and Momoshiki is that Karama was evil, but like misunderstood. Momoshiki okay. is evil, yes, evil every intention incarnate. is bad, <laughs> and so it's that's why I say it's almost the same as it's almost the same as Jujutsu Kaisen. When it's like oh, with Sakuna and uh, because you don't, we don't really know exactly what his intentions are, but we know it's bad. Yeah, the same with Momoshiki. Yeah, we don't know. He is a bum, but he could do a lot more to Boruto right now if he wanted to. For some reason, there's some dormancy going on with him. Oh, oh, that was the thing too. They explained. I'm gonna explain that. Uh, I'm gonna because they already they already said in the episode. But like with the cold karma thing, um. The reason why these gods cannot take over their bodies is because their body has to, the vessel has to get to a certain point of where the karma can live mm-hmm. with and and just be present. The reason why Kawaki is even a new vessel is because Jigen's body can't take can't hold up to the karma. Mm-hmm. So that's why more, so that's why Momoshiki and pretty much Ishiki are biding their time with these vessels because they have to build them up a certain way. I knew with it was they something. stinking ass. And Miski, and yep. listen, they not sh- why are they not showing nobody? Why are they not showing Miski no love no more? Y'all been noticing that? It's kind of because- like they he playing a back burner hard yes, as a that's that's saying, but let's let him though. Let's let him though. That's the one like right now, right now. Let's let's I really like he was my favorite character out of this he show. Was my favorite, but yeah. that's how people felt about with Hunter 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 when Karapika was nowhere in none of the episodes. But we but now in the manga if they god knock on wood that they Start this shit back up with it Hunter. Be with him. But it is going to be with him. Like it's literally the next arc is literally Karapika finding us with the I eyes, think we're just, the spiders, and then a whole new villain that has that go get the flourish eyes, that, don't even get that the, stole the eyes. Yeah, yeah. So I think we like, that is literally with a it. Karapika arc. So I will be fine. I said that to say I will be fine. Yeah. with this being the whole Boruto Kawaki arc, right. and then Mitsuki come in, swoop through with some shit that we didn't even expect, and then we get like a story from hey, him. Big Bro. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're at this point with Miski where we do have to let him take a break because yeah, he gets we, hit. We talk about he the episode, hit. right? Yeah. Animated a week, right? Yeah, that was okay. that for me it was Boruto. Um, but yeah, we can move I was reiterating because I'm like, what are we talking about? Because we you know you already know we get to talk about yeah, stuff forever. Y'all know how we get <laughs> yeah, we yeah, get yeah. a theory in this motherfucker. <laughs> Period. But that's but that was that was that was my mm. show of the week was definitely Boruto. I'm definitely have to, uh, have watch to it a little bit more. Everything. Yeah, I have to bring it all the way back. I seen I see some other people doing it. They're like, how do we get to this? I'm like, I'm gonna try that on our show one day. Like, how we get here one day? We can do a rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and and to go back to what he was saying, like that's the reason why I I'm still intrigued by how it's going to lead up to that part because we don't know even, even in the manga like you don't know where you are in the, mm. in the anime and where I, I i know so much more based off of the fact that i'm reading there's a lot of shit that y'all gonna be like whoa what the fuck but i still even now i'm like damn how the shit is this how is this gonna play out even with um, amato the dude uh-huh. that changed that switched over yeah. mm-hmm. to the and went to the leaf yeah I really think that he's gonna be the Orochimaru, honestly. Yeah, I don't know show. what's going on. I don't you know, know what's going on with him. That's what I was gonna say he before. Said, man, that's what I was gonna say before. No. When you said uh 
you know, we were missing Mitsuki and everything. We just always wanted Sasuke in every series and everything we always watch. You we, think that Mitsuki is going to be the Sasuke? Mitsuki was our Sasuke. I think that Boruto is actually going to be the Sasuke. And I think that uh, Kawaki is going to be the Naruto. I personally We just think forgot so. about Sarada, huh? So she want to be the fucking Hokage. Sarada will always be the Sakura. <laughs> she gonna be that. She's gonna be the epitome of Sakura. She's gonna be the epitome of Sonate. If you really want to be, mm. uh, check ah. it <laughs> the epitome of That's the worst trash. Uchiha to ever live. I'm about wow. to say if we are gonna do wow. some reincarnation, is, is, is Sarada not the weakest Uchiha? Now, period. Now, in life, now. What Uchiha yeah. weaker than her ever? But she's done now, things that Uchiha have never done before. She's done things. She's she's crossed barriers. She's broken at her age. She hasn't done like she's a done new a, power. She did like shit. That. She no, did some shit. We seen. That's a lot for her, her clan because uh, her clan is. Yeah, did you see Sasuke at her age? Yeah, did you I don't see Sasuke at her age. I don't but believe she's, that. She has a different approach. She do. Everything. Her approach way worse than his. And he was the, blowing out fire over a small pond. And then you gotta remember too. That yes, because he he had Orochimaru's help. Like she when he was little, little, like he was like. Six, seven, when his dad okay, was she can uh, do that too. Him to do it over the. No, she, she had, can't. No, she can't. She can't. She ain't no. did it yet. What? This one. When it's the big fire fireball juice. She do it in the game, so I just thought. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we love the game. We That's, wish that we wish they would live up to it. I, <laughs> in, in the animation and everything. No, sorry. Look, she never sues it though. What was your uh, favorite episode of the just oh, yeah, in we general? Also, we we yeah, talked about like we 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 did this in a couple weeks. of the week is a movie. Oh, it's yeah. The Witcher. Okay. Um, what's the, the Witcher? Netflix. What is Witcher, it? Tune Nightmare in. of the Wolf. Yes, it is. Yep. Nightmare of the Wolf. Wo- Tune Nightmare in, of the niggas. Wolf is so good. I would say I was just telling Richard this. Um, I feel like the people who made Castlevania were behind this, but it's it was better on every scale. Like Damn. it was what it was though. And y'all was talking about Castlevania. I remember, I was, I was the only one saying hey, it was only okay to me. Y'all was telling me Did Castlevania. You, I mean, yeah. Oh, okay, but I I I I'm a strongly fuck? agree with you on that because like Castlevania was enjoyable, and then when it got to the like season four ending, they was like okay. Then yeah, when it ended, it was just like oh okay, and it's, it's not done. It's not done. well. I'm just talking about. Just, uh, I just got news that they about to do the reboot, so we about to get another completely different series by next year about their kids. I feel like oh. Seven Deadly Sins because that's the same exactly way I feel about how I feel about this show. Seven days. About Castlevania? Castlevania? Yes. No, I would. Y'all, don't, listen, way y'all get what I mean? The same type of hype I get off of when people say, oh, oh the new hype, season yeah. in seven days. I'm like, oh, okay. The hype, yeah. When people are like, oh, it's a new Castlevania job. I'm like, oh. But at least, at least Castlevania lives up to the majority of it. First of all, Castlevania they had is, uh, one bad season. season. It wasn't that bad. It just wasn't as. Yeah, that season. Oh, Castle, no, I put Castlevania over that for sure. Have y'all okay, seen the animation you. in Castlevania? And then have y'all seen the animation of Seven Deadly Sins? Yeah. Oh, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but seven yeah. Sins, the hands yeah. look like uh, muffins. Oh, they, be, they be forgetting stuff sometimes. Man, I'm like, fingers is gone. I'm like, bro, dude, where's your editor? Uh, so sorry, Seven Deadly Sins. No, but, but I love y'all. In there like, but what was, your, like, what was the takeaway that you got from So the thing is, show? without giving out too much, uh, first of all, it's about Geralt's teacher. The thing is, in the story, though, you see nothing about Geralt in this At teacher all. interacting. Uh, but you just get to know about Geralt's um, teacher in his entirety, in his upbringing, in his uh, present, and in his... Well, you don't even see his end, really. But anyway, without giving got. out too much, all I can say is the, the only reason why I brought up Castlevania was because Geralt's teacher gave you what... Belmont should have did in every single yeah. season, like as gruesome as he was and as strategic and as violent as he was. That is what Belmont should have did. But he also had the powers of the Seeker, not as extensive, I would not say, extensive, but, but it, it was, was enough it was to an help him. Yeah. yeah, like you wish Belmont had just a little, just a, a little, little magic. That's just a little bit of magic because this shit would have been op. I feel like you should have had a little something, something in the tank that to turn up out of nowhere instead of just a whip. Oh, they can hear me. I'm loud. Can yeah, I? Yeah, yeah. So, I, 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 instead of whip, I feel like he should have did something. Turn that bitch up. Fucking turn it to Ivy or some shit. Make a whip. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been dope as fuck, yeah, though. Like, this, is, this is the bell mouse. Wait, what that if, it, what, dope, if it, what if the kids are like that? Like, what if he has a daughter? She and have a sword, she got a stabbing motherfucker yeah. in the head. Sickle sword. <laughs> some shit. But and some I, fire and whatever the fuck yeah, she whatever that is. Yeah, whatever that is. I like that shit, though. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> niggas threw up. <laughs> that's what the fuck she be doing. She be, doing. She be like, like this, this is the fire Everything one. mean the devil, y'all. Oh, look look it up. God. My God. Hey, y'all know that. Well, let's not. Let's not. Let me get, let me get to there. this. 
No, nigga. but but um, I, I I did enjoy the movie when I saw it personally. Good um, movie. It was definitely a good movie. I agree with everything. It's on said. Netflix. Yeah, so I'm Netflix. watching. I'm watching it tonight for sure. Yeah, definitely watch it. It's about an hour and a half. Wasn't that long? Barely. It will that. keep you entertained. Yeah. The story. It's a short story. It's fucked up though. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then you get to see why a little bit of why Gerald is the way he is. Because everybody is exactly the same. Way. Yes, everybody, everybody is the same. It's, think of it like the male. Talking about. Think about, We're talking about the Witcher core. Like, I don't know what y'all mean by right say wait because I ain't watched it yet. So oh, I, oh, I can't wait to see what y'all oh, mean. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that whole group to me was like the the male Black Widow group. If you watch mm. Black Widow, it was like that. Like everybody just kind of like emotionless. You talking about the movie? Yeah, yeah, that was good too. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was like emo. They were emotionless. They had to be because of where they their, they their were, lifestyle. But it was like they weren't emotional. There was a definitely a brotherhood with them because because they had to be. They yeah, were emotionless when it came to just life, and but it was only because of what the life was presenting them. These demons, these monsters, and they had they literally had the choice of either staying mm-hmm. and, and just you know hiding and in, in, in everything and just living life. Basically, they were racist. Or fight. Like they, if you weren't a, a witcher, fuck you. Like that's yeah. exactly how it was. Like oh, that too. We're not but saving anyone. Because, it's all for money. That too. But then also, they they did have like a sense of moral compass when it came to the monsters because they knew that the monsters, nobody, no, who was going to fight these monsters the way that they were able to. There's there's like an ego. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't true. say that to the not, people yeah. without giving out. But I think they they do that for face value. But I do feel like there's that some. They have, there's, yeah, they're always the second whole kind of game. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did not. He didn't give no fuck. He didn't like. He didn't like. He like. He like. He like Freezer when it comes to saying racist. But it was because, <laughs> monkeys is still niggas, Freezer. But for me, I think it was because they they just knew what type of power that they had, and they were the only ones really able to fight these monsters effortlessly. So, so they had to act like bitches. They yeah, they were. See? They definitely acted like that's what when but, people show but power. When think stab about, them. But when you also think about like the training that they had to go through to even get there, mm-hmm. like the training, well, I don't know yet, but to me the most because it sound right. <laughs> it, it, it stuck out. It stuck out to me the most because all every character, even Gerald, is exactly the same way that like the little boys that were down there fighting. He went over there fighting little boys, kicking them in, <laughs> kicking them in the chest through. Wagons and shit. That's what I'm talking about. Like he threw that boy into a wagon. Threw that boy that's into one, a wagon. That's one spoiler. Did the boy, did the boy was the boy. Did the boy went to hang? He tried. No. They all were trying. Did he got him? They all were trying. But did that's he? the point that he was trying to make. Like y'all, like y'all, this ain't shit. This ain't shit. <laughs> this ain't shit. There will be demons out here trying to eat, eat your, your hand. <laughs> Right off the back, that is how they're gonna greet you. That is the first thing, and you can't take a wagon hit. And we all know that when you go through training like that, that just changes you. So it just really yeah, you just, just yeah, you thing. become emotionless. All right, but moving on, one more thing I want to say: the game I hate. Oh well, hold on before you go. Let's talk about his show of the week. Okay, one go piece. Ahead. Listen to me. Oh, I should one know. Know. Oh. I should know. it's one piece. I'm always right? be one piece. It's one piece to of piece. greatness. It's all right. It's just a piece because it's only one episode. So you only get one piece of greatness every week. And let me tell you about this week's greatness. <laughs> he ugly, dog. <laughs> he on the mic like. <laughs> Listen, y'all. I, I, I know y'all hear me talk about this a lot. But I really uh, I really love Oda, man. If I knew dude in real life, bro, I'd beat him up to know what's going to happen in the future of One Piece. <laughs> I would beat Oda ass on a daily. Mm. What did you think about next week that's going to happen? I can't tell you, buddy. <laughs> oh, for old ass, right? He's so good with this shit. The story's so good, y'all. What, I, 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 you already know I agree. I'm and where I am right now. I, it's so much going on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was just going to tell Richard this. Oh, yeah. Hey, so I thought it would be cool okay. for... Here we go. So since Richard was at this point where, you know, he didn't watch One Piece. And nice. now Richard's at this point where he loves One Piece. I gave it a try. And, I, and I'm really... I don't love it. I mean, I do strongly like it, though. but that's a lot better than not liking yeah, it before. I, yeah. You know, before oh, when right. we first started this this whole shit, we were like, yeah, nah, I want to watch this. I'm gonna tell y'all. So I know, I know, I was. I'm part of the reason because I talk about it so, so much. I want to yeah. hear. I want to hear. Like, I'm one of the people that have never watched One Piece. Well, oh, yeah. I, I watched One Piece as a kid, you know, but I have not gone further. Back, right. I'm one of those people that's never watched One Piece in its entirety. Right. You're one of those people that is a diehard fan. I need. 
some type of convincing. Let I let convinced you yet? <laughs> you have you have convinced oh, me. I was gonna say, well, I got you, voted. I mean, I right before this episode, y'all. Here. Like, let's be clear. Okay. Right before this episode, I want you to say it in a way where you are talking to me and also the people who are like me. Who I got. Not. You. All right, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this two ways. All right, yeah. first way, I'm gonna talk about the episode from last week. The episode dropped today, but I ain't watched it yet. So we ain't gonna talk about that. I don't know. I don't know what happened yet. Well, I do know what happened, but I ain't watched it yet. So, okay, it don't matter. All right, so it was called Reinforcements Arrive, the commander of the White Beard Pirates. Now, anybody watching One Piece, the commander in 2021 of the White Beard Pirates just showed up in Wano, basically in Japan. Okay. That's Marco. The Phoenix. He in Wano finna help Luffy, y'all. What the fuck is going on? Jim Bay there. Wano there. I mean, Wano. Marco there. Hitters. Finna beat the shit. We finna jump Kaido. Dragon ass to death. Oh, they're fighting Kaido. Mm. He beat, hey, he finna beat their ass. Don't get a twist. I'm talking <laughs> shit. Kaido gonna beat their ass for like a good Four million chapters because he's Kaido. He don't. He ain't, he ain't going down like that. He's he like four million boss. chapters. He a big big boss. Look at this nigga face. Just on. Just everybody look at savvy face while I show him my nigga Kaido face in the, in the screenshot thing. He don't fuck up. He look like he looked like. Uh, damn, you ain't even seen him. I couldn't even I tell. Don't know if I let, like me, it. let me say this. All right, a couple weeks ago, right? Luffy fought Kaido for the first time. All right, he punched Kaido in his shit hardcore gear four, blew the whole body up, bouncing. Hitting hard. This is where he punched so hard where he can make an island clap. All right? That's how hard he hitting this nigga in the face. In gear four? Gear four. He, be- he better be because where I am in gear three, he didn't turn his arm into a big ass like Hey, gear building. three cold though. A big ass yeah. building and punched and Lucci through the building. Look, <laughs> he, he cracking Kaido 50 times, right? My nigga Kaido eating them bitches. He eating them bitches like he eat burgers like Tic Tacs, all right? Yeah. <laughs> you motherfuckers ain't phasing them. Crack, crack, crack. He like, all right, okay, cool. Can I get can I get, can I get one hit in real quick, Luffy? Luffy like, man, try it. I ain't no bitch ass nigga. So Kaido, he had a little mallet in his hand. He only hit Luffy one time. My nigga Luffy went into a mountain and was knocked the fuck one hit. Do y'all know who Luffy it is? It sounds like he's piece? preaching. It's so funny. It is. I am. I'm <laughs> preaching about I, the I'm word. I'm feeling all of it. I'm feeling all of it. I don't think y'all understand how strong Luffy is. Luffy, Luffy got is one strong shot as in. Hell. That one, I do know. This is how strong Kaido is. He one shot Luffy, who's made out of rubber, y'all, with a physical hit. So yeah. like, if he's made out of rubber, is it like the same thing like with SpongeBob? Like yes. you can't feel and unless you have the hockey. impact. You, so it's certain things, right? It's hockey. If you have hockey, you're gonna be able to hit. Right? And I haven't, uh, I haven't got to that point. If you yet. have C Prism Stone, think of it like you Nan. Get, you ain't get to hockey. Oh. Think of it like Nan. I, they haven't explained hockey yet. I thought, you, I thought he was doing his third year. He's doing it, but they have. That's what I was going to tell did you. They too. His emperor's hockey? They haven't explained nobody's oh, powers never yet. Mind, I ain't say they haven't explained nobody's powers yet. And then they got sea prism stone. So like, if you go to jail and you got a devil fruit power, they put sea prism stone on you. Um, your devil fruit power can't work with sea prism stone. Like they shoot you with sea prism bullets and all that shit too, not to get you fuck up out there. So like, oh wow, Luffy, oh my Luffy god, shoot, shot with a regular bullet. Yeah, nah, you know, like, yeah. It, but if it's that, sea prism, it's lethal. Damn, wow. <laughs> wow, they hitting this. Oh wow, ass. I didn't you know that they had that. But of a side. Hey, Kai, big Kaido. I ain't gonna lie. I don't, I don't, when it come to villains, I'm fucking with Kaido. Y'all know uh, I'm gonna say Don Flamingo, my favorite villain from from One Piece. He he just that well, well really Blackbeard. But if Don Flamingo, if I'm not gonna include Blackbeard, Don Flamingo. But Kaido is showing me what an emperor of the four seas is. Only four emperors, y'all. These are the top niggas, p- top pirates in the world. Kaido's one of them. Mm-hmm. It's Kaido, Big Mom, Shanks, which is Luffy's. A fake older brother, and and then it was Whitebeard. Whitebeard is dead. So what? That's how see what? What? Bro, you? Oh my God! I forgot. That. I'm sorry. Just that fast. I'm sorry. Wait, he, not, he don't play a big part. He don't play a big part in the story anyway. So you cool. lying? You're lying. I know you're lying. Stop, stop talking to me. All right, look. Let me get the back to front. This I want y'all. That's how I try to look at it. So I wouldn't say nothing. About it. Trying to talk so say that. Yeah, he had a pivotal part. I'm like, look, I know he is. My fault, Buddha man. God damn. Okay. Anyways, that happens. I ain't gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you when or why or none of that because the when or why is bigger than the fact that he did that. To be honest, mm, okay. it's, the when and when it, when you see when it happened, you probably gonna fucking call me and be like, "Bro, are you fucking serious?" And I'm gonna be crying on the phone with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you had to. I'm sorry you had to go through that, man. I ain't mean. I know. 
Oda make him, Oda gonna make you cry regardless. Ain't no not crying in this bitch. You you going through some shit reading this. I mean, Sam, you gotta fuck. Come on, man. Where you starting, man? I mean, where you want to start? Cause I I got I got some shit for you, and I already I'm got you in comics. Right. So you I'm already tr- got you on the comics. Yeah. Get you on the one. Can piece, I say? Man. Can I say this real quick, and then we'll go into your game real quick. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, I if he doesn't convince you the way that you need to be, I I'll I convince convincing. you where I am. Yeah. Let him convince you while he's going. Through. Dude, like, so the biggest thing that I, the biggest takeaway that I take from One Piece. Yes, the powers are there. The goofy characters are there. The animation is something to get used to if you're not you if right. you're used to normal when, anime. For someone he, he, who he likes visual, he only in like 2003 right now. Yeah. When you get when you get to like I mean not 2000. Well, damn, here 2003. Yeah, for real. Like, two, like 2002. Yeah. He in like 2003, 2002. Once you get to like the real number, like 2010s and shit, like 2009, mm-hmm. 2008. The animation goes and, I, and the quality up. is gonna pick up because right okay. now when you start to remember you you watch in nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, I mean that type of thing has stopped me from watching shows like Ruby. So Thanks. so um, with so, that, oh yeah, and yeah. I love Ruby. But don't trip it's gonna turn off. If I remember I showed you the animation when Kaido cracked them, right? Remember mm. how crispy that was? That's how all the animation was right now. Or or it was all another it was yeah. another scene that, that I like fuck. that that had happened where they all like got together. Yeah, and it was Luffy, the dude that controls metal, and somebody else, and they were uh destroying some ship. But the animation. Oh yeah, I showed y'all that too. That was when the, that uh, shit was called when the three. Oh yes, that's how, that's that how scene crazy was it is called. Every episode, y'all. Yeah. That's when Jimbei showed up. Yeah. So, okay. but All the right. biggest takeaway that I take away from One Piece is the emotion of the story. Mm. The and I say that specifically because the story is good by itself because there's so much to it. It doesn't and they take me as an emotional out, story, but it's very emotional. Wow. And and. Even that I'm trying to tell, I keep speaking up about the part when Robin was yelling to Luffy. Hey, that's dude. a significant like, everybody was, talk about that. Part. That part was so like ripping. I was like, I was like, Luffy, get over there in my head. Like, get over there. Get over there, help her, man. And he was and 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 again, because it invokes so much emotion, the character, the personality of these characters, like and then how he if you know the background if you know, that white. Oh, mm-hmm. oh my god. If you know Luffy in the show, you know Luffy is 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 TTG. Like mm-hmm. literally TTG when literally when Robin said that I forgot what stopped him, but literally when Robin said that he literally stretched his arms out, it flew to the and was about to fly <laughs> through the and, and if you and in the story where they are, they're they're literally between islands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like there's a building with an island on it, and then he was going to launch himself over there while they all just standing on top of this building waiting. And that's his new and friend. CP, that's like they even, literally that's just not even his old friend. That's a new friend. New friend. That's a new friend. <laughs> that he finna help. Like and 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 of course with Robin, like the her backstory and everything that she's Man. done, it will make you be like, oh no, bitch, you can't be around us because of like you. You're pretty much bad luck. But Luffy don't care. Right. Like like he's saying, Man, you ain't bad. From, ain't from bad what luck. I know, you my friend. You yeah. my friend. Yeah. You my friend. I about to say, from what I know about Luffy, like he's a very like just very loyal. Yeah, he is a yeah. child. He's a very, child. Yes. Yeah, he gone, bro. He but he got too much. Po- he got too much power. It's like he's a child with like god like power. It's but like it's, it's good and bad. So he can he can make decisions for he, people and himself. And, but that's like he he's trained because he, he's a child. He's trained off his emotion. Yeah. That's why it's so good to have people like Zoro, uh-huh. Sanji, Nami. Who smart? Nami is stupid. Nami and Zoro's I my love, favorite and again, They are different characters. Like Nami, Zoro's I wouldn't even thought character. that Nami was like a good character. But I'm like, I actually like Nami for the show. Like. Listen, it's they Nami not Sakura. Good, yeah. Nami, Even, Nami, and Nami, Nami is definitely you like not Sakura. Nami. You like Nami? Out. I feel like she's she's sassy. Nami that yeah. took Doug. Yeah, I remember her. Oh yeah, she a thief. yeah. She, yeah. yeah. She was a I remember her. Yeah, she, I remember she, her. she fought the CP9 girl, and I was surprised she won took that that dub. Stop playing with Nami. Nami man. was good. Nami like, was, hey, Buddha, hold on, hold on. Let me say something. People watch One Piece. Buddha don't even know what Nami doing right now. Nami is on. Nami doing it. Nami see, got some shit see. right now. You don't want to fight Nami right now. I'm, I'm so excited. He ain't even excited. on his shit right now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, I'm not even on his shit. But but like like I said, just the biggest thing was the emotion that they That's because what I because about. I like the way he draw emotion. The background, yes, the background yes, go white. It's yes. debris in the background falling real slow. Emotion, you feel it. Yes. In he, that show, Robin. Like, only only reason I said because everybody be looking in the background always. Everybody oh, looked so fucking goofy on that show, and I know you guys no. had the whole Robin. I know you got so from what I've gotten from these guys, they said they they wanted to make goofy looking people, yes, and totally. you know all these goofy looking people be op at some point. No, no, you no, know he wanted to he wanted to uh, basically he he gave people funny powers and and just showed you he's basically showing you that by the end of it, no matter what your 
ability could be. He's basically telling everybody, believe in yourself no matter what you do. No matter how or, you, how, you or how you look, yeah, yes. you can make anything into anything. Is what he tells you. So, Luffy's so, starting off with a Mr. Fantastic, and by the end of this arc, he will be the strongest person on the planet. So, with that being said, and then they're saying that you know, there's these uh, visuals of just good emotional drawing, and, and oh, like God. you, you feel it, and you you're, you empathize with the, it. The biggest thing, the yeah. biggest thing was the, definitely the emotion and the drawing. But again, because I listen to it in dub as I'm watching. Mm, so you can get the that. inflections. I was like, oh my mm. god. I was like, I yeah. I felt like I was literally on next to Chopper right. on that I'm building. Like, 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 what's up? <laughs> like, like, seriously, like I was about to say, so they giving so you much, they give she you literally was about to get, just sacrifice herself. And when it took for Luffy to be like, I just need you to just say it with your chest. And she was like, I want to live. She was going to kill herself. She was like, I want to live. It sounds like these characters give you like that same. They so loyal to each other. Only something different. That's what's so good. Yes, yes. Everybody be something else. A hundred percent different too. Like nobody. Even Usopp. I don't even like Usopp, but I like him for the show. I like him now. That's nigga, man. I'm telling you, that nigga turns. You gonna like? You gonna? I'm gonna gonna watch it. All right. The only reason I'm gonna tell y'all what has convinced me to watch this show. To, to the point where I'm like, I want to watch it because I want no, this saying, feeling <laughs> again. No, it's because Not of yet. it's this because Frankie, of um, he's there, but he hasn't joined yet. I like Frankie. So that's your I, favorite. I, I, I want to watch the show because <laughs> he do. That's he his power up. Turn up on he turned up, and he like a cyborg, so he got all these he different. So he's Popeye, he up but with co- Coca Cola. He's a machine Popeye. Who yes. Which which cleans the machines apparently. Um, oh wow! Yes, it, it's it's so between that and Mountain Dew, they used to use that to clean out wow. shit. Wow! Um, um, wow! Oh, I do that. Yeah, yeah. But the reason why I want to watch the show now, to the point where I'm like, I want to watch this just for me to feel this feeling again, is because the way y'all describing it and like the characters, how y'all getting so attached to it, is the same way like with. Um, to your eternity, where yes. all these people are very different, and you get so attached within two, three do, episodes, and they die. Do you and remember then... when y'all, you remember <laughs> y'all, y'all sitting here talking about to your eternity? And, and Buddha had brought up about the emotion and how when people be passing, and I brought up one thing. I was like, bro, ain't that how? And, and Buddha was like, yeah, that is. I don't the think I was here for that. that was I here for that episode? Die, but when they die, because again, oh, they bring so much God. emotion. When they die, it feels it's like what the fuck? When somebody <laughs> Question: person. Have you have you watched to your eternity yet? I'm yeah, up. he caught up. Did all right, all right, real quick, real quick. Since we all three have watched it, the moment where Marsh dies, yeah. can you I'm tell me that it was I'm not the almost like an equivalent of how you felt about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood when, uh, when I she. Yeah, she turned to a comment. It was like, I cried. I was sad. I, I don't all, cry on fucking anime. How y'all kill the little girl, Marsh? She was trying to help. My she was boy trying to so bad. She like I'm your mama. All, all like, she wanted to do was live. Mama. That's all they she wanted to do. Anyway, and they killed her. They anyway. killed the fuck out of her. Like, <laughs> they killed like the deep story fuck. was set up for Marsh to just be uh, uh to be sacrificed sacrifice. anyway. She was a sacrifice anyway. Yes. So it would make you think to die. It would make you think that she was about to survive through that. What's her fuck, name? Her. Fuck, fuck her. her. Fuck her. That bitch cold, though. Anyway, fuck her. Fuck her. That bitch ain't you, If you, you guys have been watching the um, episode, though. You see the other aliens, the knockers just came and got mm-hmm. her, though, right? What if, if you guys have been watching. ability to fight like that, though, and beat his ass. If you guys have been watching Two Year Eternity, I'm finna, honestly, I'm finna explain that to you after he gets done with these. Honestly, we're at episode. episode where are you at? I'm caught up. You're all the way caught up. I'm all the way caught up. We got one more episode left. It's no, only it's only twenty on yeah. on nine anime shows, twenty episodes. Saying, That's actually different. pretty good. I, I think I feel like it's going to be a season. It would be stupid for them to end yeah, it in this like, last episode. Right if they end it in this next episode, they got to wrap it up. It's like the doctor, the do- yeah, the doctor no, hasn't explained they anything. Like an hour, they give us an hour the only reason why I know it's not done yet because in, if you paid attention to the um to the beginning, the opening. You see all these people. He becomes all these people he interacts with. There's two one people. Man. There's two There's people one. we have not. There's one. There's that girl, one. that black girl with the it's lavender the hair. That's her. I yeah. have I not don't know seen, who her yet. seen her yet. So Who's we the know ain't that. The the There's guy, another girl. There's the a blue hair girl. The next episode, when they show the preview, I think she gonna die. I think she gonna die. Yeah. She. They in. They. They implied it. They said they noticed like how old she got. What if? What if uh. something happens 
Because I, I really do feel like this is going. If it's not going to be the end of the show, it's going to be definitely the end of the season. I do feel like and that the killer, personally. The killer want to be a part of him so bad, y'all, and she not. And that's another. Thing. Oh, yeah, it can't yeah, be yeah, over. Yeah. We don't yeah. even know about that. And so, should have took her because she got hands. No, so wait, 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 wait. So remember, remember when if you watched the most recent episode, remember when the knocker came into her uh arm, right? Right. It went her arm. And then it left the after she time. said that she it hurt her. It, it hurt. It hurt her. It hurt her. It hurt her. And, and so, understood her, yeah. So I feel like that same one that left, because I because what she said was, um, are you gonna use me for intelligence or something like that? So like, he, it I'm, left. I can do this all it oh my back. god, yeah. What if exactly what you said happened and they're gonna work together to get him? But what could they turn into it's in order to it's not it's the, it's the more like she got the power, the, but she still has the intelligence. The but she got her own she but what would that do? It is, she'll she'll be able to she'll, she'll be, be able stronger, to she'll be stronger and then on top of that she'll she'll still keep the idea of what she wants she'll still keep her, her, she, identity yeah, she with, her identity with yeah. with using the their power yeah 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 well, that's how it's gonna go. yeah wrong. yeah, yeah. Like I went into, uh, the which is place. why I cannot and I, see and I this. really feel like that's what's gonna happen because that's the first time the knocker ever went Never into left somebody, somebody and left yeah. I legit have been making other people watch this season <laughs> this this anime so it has the funds to make another oh yeah I, season. I, I, don't, I, don't I do that all done. the time I do feel I like it's gonna, gonna be a season two. Oh yeah it has to be but, um yeah but go to um we're gonna go talk about your game real quick but new episode of sword Art online just dropped you are fucking lying I am Look at his face. He remember, said, <laughs> remember, I just want to say this so everybody, I wish I could zoom in on this nigga face. This nigga was talking crazy about Sora Online when he was talking about, uh, what the fuck is the other strange? He said, face. You fucking I'm about face. I am. He was like, I was like, Online. I was like, Booty, you know, I remember I geek me well for every episode. He's like, but we, we already know. Like that. But we already oh, know. We already know. You just said that when I just said already it's, know a new, why. it's a dude. We already drop. know why. I love Sword Art. I love like, Sword Art. But we already know why when it comes to that battle, why I felt like that because I did not like the ending. I did not like the end of the hey, sword art. Listen, the sword art ended. We fighting the OC ass space monsters now. Listen, if this would have been a new episode, would have started off with that. I know you'd have been like, "Fuck oh, the episode yeah. real quick." No, yeah, 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 knock yeah, over yeah. microphones. Like, like, uh, Tom, could you, could you <laughs> cast we'll the up. cast we'll cast the episode? Here. We're gonna do a live reaction. Hell here. no, <laughs> no. But um, like, going back to what you were saying, then we're gonna go into uh, the game that you said you hated because I actually yeah. didn't hear this. Yeah. Um, it's exactly hey. that when it comes to emotion in one piece mm-hmm. that same emotion not, people don't die but the idea of that emotion is, you get is there the only reason why it's hard to take it serious is because of the animation and that's the brilliance that i feel like oda has because it's easier to take in the emotion when you're dealing with more presentable characters that look like you hey. versus a dude Somebody that got a, 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 a spade symbol as a beard on his face, or some shit like that, or just got like, crosses all over his face. So, because they are literally like dynamic, crazy ass characters. They, but they actually do be meaning something. Yeah. And I know that that's the case because, like, the back, like the like the the henchmen of the pirates or the marine henchmen and shit like that that they show, mm-hmm. they be normal ass like humans. They look like normal humans. But every other character out there that has something dynamic about them, about their yeah. appearance. Yeah. So in real life, and I think that again, it's just brilliant that that he's able to still invoke evoke that emotion behind certain characters. And and I like his mindset when it did come to these powers too. Mm-hmm. A lot of these powers kind of quirky and weird. It's like, how he are you thinking of weird, like Robin powers? Yes. You see what I mean? Like, what the fuck is that? Whoever would have thought of arms as a power or legs? Like, you make yourself look, look. Eeyore is trying to think like, how's that a power? That's literally Robin. I'm power. Like, it's a, it's I, like, I ain't gonna tell you too much because you gotta watch it to find out. But just know he makes. Arms and legs. Oh, so he makes appendages Literally and just, just motherfucker, <laughs> motherfucker break your neck. You, she, 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 you try to walk down the street, your neck right just now. break. What you said? What she put an ear on your cheek right now. You walking down yeah. the street, somebody. Just oh, break so you your can neck. put appendages on me. Yeah. Oh, you're, you walking down the street, your neck just break. You don't even know what just happened, man. I'm oh, God. It will work the same way. I like say, you know, I, she put that ear on your cheek just to, just so, so she can hear. Close, yeah. Close. So she can hear what you're saying. Uh, she can hear an ear on your back. You don't even know it's there. You walking around. Oh, for real? And yeah. you won't you won't feel it? No, no. Oh no! It's, it's so you can see it. She has literally did that little spell, and like arms will come out. She'll crack something. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Niggas that had arms. Look, look, look at this. Man. Watch this. Niggas that had this. They be looking at her like how they swords, they guns, and then this happens. Some Ooh, arms will grow out. Some arms just grow out, crack. Literally. Out they stomach. They be looking like what the fuck? Yes. They be ASAP. Literally. Now, you ain't even got time because you're not gonna try to shoot. Them. You gonna think of some? Maybe I just grew some arms. I'm not gonna hurt myself. That shot that initial That's so head. scary. You know how scary that'd be. <laughs> I'm That's so scary. And then punch you in your face. That reminds me. <laughs> you in there like, what the? That's so scary. 
that's literally what she did. That reminds me. Episode when she did that to like seventy three officers. Niggas get their necks broke. She's doing this. They run running around. around. <laughs> like, what do you do? <laughs> it's good. You got it's so quirky, but it's like. It works. It That's works. so. It's almost as sinister as that new. I've been watching it, or I've been reading a new movie called. To grow up and um, have I think you on. you told me about it before too, and that's what inspired me to like do that last post I did with my drawing. Um, Jinju Ito. Juni Ito. Ito. Yeah, yes. that shit. I love that shit. Yes. Have you been watching them though? What's There's a something to watch. That's how I found out about no, I've been reading the mangas. Shows. There's shows for them, and every episode is like maybe. 10 or 15 minutes. Say it again. What's his name? The, the G- what's Gene Ju? I, I don't know if it's the author, but I know that the, the show is called Juni Ito. Juni Ito, yes. Yes. That's it remind movie. like her power legit reminded me of that whole series. I'm just like, oh my God. So I love anime side. horror. We gotta talk about that. Yeah, like, we will. Say, I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, cool. The game that I hate that I only spent an hour and a half. Damn. Hour and a half. And you just had it. The only reason why I hate it is because it kind of remind me of what near would have been with an anime, like more a more anime esque into it, but less. But uh, no, no, no. I'm not disrespecting you at all. I swear to God, I'm not. It's what near could because been. it it no. no. <laughs> I should say it in a different way. They poorly. If they were trying to follow near, they poorly did it. It was not test. It was not fluid. The Ooh. the game scenes sucked. Who hit the switch? The 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 one I hated the most was the fact that there was no scenes. There was just these, you know, words. And it's PS4. I'm like, is this Nintendo what is Switch? It? It's called Scarlet Nexus. He said, no, is this Nintendo's bitch? it was that Scarlet bad. Nexus. He said Nintendo's bitch. What do you mean by that? It was that bad for Scarlet real? Nexus. I only gave it an hour and a half. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't about returned that. it I ain't yet. Heard that shit. There's an anime for it too. You know that. Right? Yeah, I know. And and then right after it's I played, words? right after I played the game, they tried to make me like you know watch the fucking series on Hulu. I'm like, are y'all listening to me? But um, <laughs> Scarlet <laughs> Nexus, <laughs> Scarlet Nexus. I went through the tutorial and everything. I'm like, I hate the way you fight. I hated it. It definitely gets. But uh, I'm glad that you also said real quick that it reminds you of Near because the people that uh, Platinum Games. Uh, is the ones that made that game and uh, Near Automata. So mm. the mechanics are there. It was there, but it was missing the flu the fluidity of yeah, what Near gave did. you. The I don't know. It, it just lacked so much. I I, en- I enjoyed the nostalgia, if mm-hmm. for a word, yeah. of, of the gameplay because it reminded me of Near. Mm-hmm. Um, and I only played the tutorial of that, but I could understand where you're coming from with the words because it, it just literally is like. Picture, 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 picture. Words, and I'm just words. like, y'all got enough money to, to yeah, they, they could have gave it, they, they didn't more do open, so it's not like open world or nothing like that. It's open world, yeah, it is open world, but like if there's a cutscene, oh, mm-hmm. you talk about just, just a cutscene, fucking comic, 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 yeah, there's no real life. They could at least put the anime that they made into the that's what I'm saying. The, the, the <laughs> like, don't you have the budget? This, this shit was still the $54. Oh, the yeah, that's some lazy ass, shit. that's some merchandise, and it will ruin a game for me. I'm so sorry if anybody's ever watching this any type of game, anything. Yeah, that kind it's of... called Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlett Nexus. That's kind Scarlet of messed Scarlett Nexus, up. and I had hopes because I saw Me previews. Too. I'm like, the game, or, or the fighting style looked cool on whatever trailer or whatever the fuck I was watching. But me going through the game itself bores the fuck out of me. Wow. <laughs> there, are, there are these dead points where I'm just like, I just want to get through this scene because anybody like really talking, I just got to read shit all the time. Or, yeah. Man, delete or, that shit off your damn game. Get yeah. that shit off I hate here. that. That's so lazy. Yeah. And then yeah, like when it comes else. to when it comes to actually, you know, fighting, when it comes to um fighting on that game versus near, there's no dodging like in a in a way where it's like real time. Like it's 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 choppy. Yeah, it's choppy. I was gonna as say hell. like the, the the gameplay is boxy. Yeah, okay. So you you it played is the boxy. yeah when I played the demo, I liked it again for the nostalgia of the gameplay from Platinum Games. But the uh, girl for sixty dollars, it was like it was like I'm Plan B, like, and yeah, still sixty dollars. And, and yeah, I'm like yeah, still sixty dollars. I don't think so. Y'all, mm. Yeah, Scott well, I guess started, you're giving. I'm I'm going to play it just because I I enjoyed it a tad. 
a tad. I'm, I'm gonna get my money back tomorrow. But but I bought uh, used at GameStop. I'm gonna give it back to them. And you got on PS4? <laughs> yeah. Now. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I know you got. I PS4. guess he's giving. What What do you give Scarlet Nexus then? Uh. What out of ten? What out of ten? Out of ten? Do I gotta do ten or can I do five? All right, out of five, five. star, five two, star, two point five. Damn, five. It's a fifty percent. Has just a fifty percent. It looks I, great. I'll allow it, but that's it. Like at it, least from when I played the demo, look I was, good. That's it. It do like, look good when you fighting and shit. Like it and then looks even cool. the even the villains, like the villains were unique. Like I had never they're seen unique, those. Unique, but they I, were they were weird. They like were I never seen them before. Fuck. They were like, weird. If you played near replicant, that's what they were. A variant of those, yeah, that was what it was. Yeah, just you just wasn't able to hit them as flu as full as you wanted to. Yeah, you yeah. could. Even, could you even jump? Good artists create great oh, artists. You can do shit. You, you can do something in that fucking game. Next on Scarlet Nexus, you can jump or you can do something. It probably was jump. Good, mm. was good jump. artists create great artists steal. So I'm starting to stop talking steal about steal some people. shit. I'm starting to stop talking about people who be stealing from like other things. Like I'll be talking about how. Goku be still a Superman and all type of shit like that. I'm starting to stop doing that because everybody got an idea or from just, somewhere. Or just make things. You know what I love about black people? Sorry. Th- um, we need to have a segment on here also for uh Well, we switch it up. Just be like, you know what I love? I want, I want my segment. Be like, you know what I you know love what about, I love black, about black, people? black people? That's cool. But no, you know what I love about black people? Like even in gaming, like they understand that like, like you were just saying, like art- artists don't steal basically. Right. It's like, to be inspired. It is to be inspired. And, and don't you can use that like same game, Scarlet Nexus, and just like put other attributes, I guess, to the game to make it different. Like <laughs> I will say Scarlet Nexus did not make me feel any different from near, honestly. We it just, really wasn't. I just uh, except for like when you were throwing objects and shit like that. That was like the, the only the separation of powers that was probably it. This this the and specifications. Then you had to do it through other people. Like when you had that little tat, like that little partner that had a specific power that you could use through them only though. Like that was kind of whack. Um it made me work harder. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and then like it wasn't a better game. So it's like I don't want to. And before I, I, before I came here, I was watching uh this thing up on YouTube uh about uh do make Naruto. Who made Naruto uh-huh. about him first making Naruto and at first Sasuke wasn't a part of it. I didn't notice. Mm. So at first it was just Naruto, but somebody like, man, you need a fucking rival. The people who over, <laughs> over the company, <laughs> you yeah, need a fucking the- rival. You just buy, sell him and Sakura. Dude was like, all right, fuck it. So he started making up Sasuke. At first, Sasuke had a whole bunch of bands and showing his arm and shit. And he was like, I don't like that. But he was <laughs> the reason why he had a whole bunch of bands is the original uh inspiration for it was Hiei from Yu Yakusho, which most people know because if you look at Hiei. He looks like him. It's all same powers, all that. They both do Amaterasu, all that shit. It's all the same shit. But he was inspired from Hiei. So the hair, the outfit, and all that. So he had like a bandage thing like Hiei had when he first came through with the uh with the dragon power he had, the dark dragon Amaterasu fire shit. And he unbandaged it and he showed it. Uh, he had that at first. But he only, uh, the dude from Naruto had basically took it out of design because it takes too long to draw every week. So he took it out of design and he only had it for the tuning exam. So if y'all remember in tuning exams, Sasuke walking around with Hiei's armband. The whole tuning exams. And I never noticed that until I just watched that on YouTube. He did do that. No, I was no, like, that's yeah. crazy. But he was showing, and that was him. He did that on purpose to lead that in to show, uh, I forgot what the word is, but it's for the dude who made Yu Yu Hakusho show. Like an Easter egg. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, I'm showing that. I did, I did inspiration from him. And I fuck with him. You know what I mean? Yeah, paying homage. That's what it is, and paying that's home, yeah. and, that, and that's a more mm. important yes. thing to pay attention to yes. than just being inspired. Because if people don't have a problem with copy homage. copying somebody yeah. as long as you're paying homage yeah. to yeah. that. Yeah, person. it's like you you kind of like no, I'm actually doing a tribute. Yeah, like, this is I'm I am like, taking. I, I no, like no, this is my shit, nigga. I ain't never. And we all know, nigga, what? that shit came from X, Y, and Z. <laughs> you <laughs> like, when you give the credit, even if you you like. You need to go back with my drawing. Like I could have just completely disregarded it. Um, Cause you tag everybody that you, or at least speak to or speak about every person that you're drawing or mm-hmm. that, where your inspiration is coming from. Yeah. From that. It's like, I'm, I'm not stealing you're your essence. To. I'm designing your essence and I'm, I'm just, that's all I'm doing. That's it. I'm not stealing shit. Speaking of that. I wanted to do a shameless plug real quick. While y'all listening, it's only three oh, of y'all. We got to add to the fuck. 93. All three of you motherfuckers listen to this. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh well. My nigga Buddha is creating. All right? All right? And I want y'all to stay tuned for this. Because he's creating, I don't know if it's manga or anime, but he's creating uh, yeah, something. Yeah. All right? 
I forgot um, about that. On the other hand, I'm trying to do some comic shit on some nigga shit. But, but, uh, but I'm I know glad Buddha. That you, I'm yeah, glad I that am. you. Because I, 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 I meant up. to. I meant to bring this up. I meant to bring this up a couple weeks ago. But this is the shameless plug. He's he, he his 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 is deeper than mine. I'm only in the beginning. Of mine. I've only been doing mine for a couple months. He has an either an anime or some manga coming out. Support black shit. I don't you do? What it is. Yes, I do. That's exciting. I do. And I'm gonna do. Um, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm waiting right to, to talk to like some some actual animators because I want this to be like the first. This will not be Yusuke. I'm sorry. This will not be Yusuke. I want this. No, you're be. a meshy in this month. No, I, no. When I, when I say Yusuke, I mean the black samurai. Oh, oh hell, no, we ain't fucking with dude. This will not be that. Like he was getting his ass. Beat he was getting his ass beat the whole show. How come every other anime character get the win? I don't but, hate nobody. But I've already started like on the the fucking him up. Sorry, go ahead. No, but I was I, I've already started on like the religious lore behind the whole story. I've started on the world lore behind the story, and now I'm waiting. I'm working on character specific storylines and and what shameless I, plug and what I want and what I want it to be like. What I want people to get from each character. You got a title yet? It's called the receiver. Love it. The receiver it's, coming it's, soon, it's, motherfuckers. It's it's from collective short, program. It's subtle. It's called the receiver. I have no idea. I didn't know. I didn't know if I wanted to name it after the, the name the main character, which his name is Abdu, and it's just Buddha switched around. Oh, but uh, so. but I didn't. I, I felt like that was just too. That's nice. General. So I wanted to do the receiver. Abdu. Abdu. It's called a spade a spade. Uh, I love, I love no, the, but I love the creative journey. Yeah, yeah like, man, like man. one day I was literally just like, I always tell y'all how I love. That's the main, like, outside of oh, music what? with anime, I love story. Yeah, we're gonna get to that next, but uh, I love storytelling. Like, that's why I love near so much. The storytelling is so. If you don't really pay attention to it, it's so much. Like, I brought the book with me because I want mm-hmm. to talk about it the same way. Like, I'm. This is my favorite. Favorite favorite series by far, bet like over any anime. I love the what, Dragon Guard Near series. Love what's it. your inspiration for your anime? Near is that the only inspiration? I yes. have multiple That's inspirations. That's his favorite yes. story. Yes. Like in, I got multiple, in I got everything. Like, 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 like y'all. between and you haven't gotten to like the the series before Near, which mm-hmm. is called Dragon Guard, which was out since PS One. Like this man has been out here making these games and have been putting out thought pro- thought provoking situations where you'd be like, damn, like a normal person would be like, this is so fucked up. But given the situation, it's like, what would I have done? Like it, it right. makes you really near think about near shit. replica and near automata. If like, you it, really pay attention to automata, the story while you're playing the game, these, just it here. takes you there. It it's like you, there. you would think like it's just an anime. It's like eh. And no. then, so no, that's, it's real life shit. It is like storyline. It, it post, it's it's post, in real yeah, life, it's in post real like life apocalyptic shit. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's it's a story story line line for sure. Like it gotta be the storyline story line for sound. sure. My brother, my little brother, was just talking to me about Nero Automata. He was like, "Bro, I don't." He said, "I I want to get the story, but they just drop you in there." I'm like, "Bro, that's the point, and you need to just keep mm-hmm. going because the shit is going to unfold. If you if you 100 percent the game, you'll probably end up crying. That's how good the game is because it's it's not one of those games where. Like say you beat it and then you beat it at another level and you get like an achievement. It's it takes it goes into like um different parts of the story that are actually like just as pivotal as the main story. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's why I love storytelling. Like it makes you think, it makes you wonder. And near it will always be my inspiration for what I'm about to do with this because I, I, wait, I worked on the world lore and I was like, oh my god, the gods in this story already are so op. And when they are not when the main character is going to affect the uh be affected by the gods, okay. but the other way around, how right. the gods are going to be affected by the main character. That's really what I want it to be. Because these gods, you are you're omnipotent. So you're already gonna think that they're all knowing, all seeing just by default. They're gods. Mm, right. But if you could change it around, that's just one aspect I'm thinking about in storytelling. But if you could change it where uh these guys are learning something from these human beings right. that they've created. You know that will change the game a little bit. It's not to say that it hasn't been done, but I can guarantee you it has not been done the way that I'm planning on doing it. If you get and a it humble God, this like you, black... that's what you're doing. Like you're trying to get a different. Well, there's twist multiple on... gods too. That's yeah, the I'm thing. So, or different guys. You're trying only, to get a different twist. I, I want to actually send you what I have as far as like the world lore and the uh, the religion war. That's like the God lore. Mm. I'm gonna send you those blurbs 
by themselves, and then you'll see. Oh, I started. I'm I started. I started uh, thinking about mine. So my my uh, the person who made me think I should start trying to do a comic book was my friend Devin. He he's making his own anime too. Man, I'll see you about that. Okay. So my friend Devin, he's like, hey, why you don't why you don't make a comic, bro? Or an anime or something. I'm like, I wouldn't do an anime or a manga, bro. I want I want to you know what I mean. I fuck with a comic. So uh, he like, why don't you think of a premise? And you didn't read so many stories all your life and all about this shit. Just try. And I tried when I when I first tried it was the beginning of this year, y'all. January. I tried, and the first one was so garbage. And let me tell y'all why. I was trying way too hard, and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking real hard, and I'm trying to make stuff tight. And it's not about, I mean, it is about that. Don't get it twisted. It's definitely about that. So people got to want to read your shit. Mm -hmm. But I figured out what I needed to do to make me really tap into what I needed to write. The print, the basic storyline. My inspiration is older. We know, we all know what this is. Even though I'm comic book nigga all day, my favorite storyline is One Piece. My favorite storyline of all time is One Piece. All right. It's different comic book storylines and shit that's tight. One Piece, all right? So Oda is my inspiration. Any inspiration outside of this for this comic book is all comic book characters. Comic books as a whole is my inspiration. So it's, all, it's One Piece and comic book. Mm -hmm. But this comes from me being black. So my premise is, it's a, it's a, it's a planet like how Oda do with One Piece. He, he does the whole world. Every, mm -hmm. every city, state, country is something. So I got it. So like countries like Wano, that was Japan country Japan so I gotta like countries like that but every country is a hood okay the premise of my story is so all you, hoods it's gonna be a big war so you're gonna see so in, with it being hood and the way that I define hood there's gonna be a lot of not necessarily aggressive people but what the hood depicts and the way I'm a, I'm a, I'm a it's gonna be for because because I'm, I'm not somebody who's trying to tell a story from some I'm trying to watch like oh I think people are the hood did this I know what the fuck you know what you mm -hmm. experience. So I'm gonna tell them how to story how to I'm, I'm I already got how to war break out with it, everything. So it's like it started off with streets, then it's gangs, then it's cities, then it's states, then it's and they roping other people into it that and wouldn't be roped into it at first. Shit. You know what I mean? So it's like it started on a street level and it keep going up, then it go once they get into the government, that's a world level, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's and I'm already going. And I, and I'm telling y'all the only that's reason one piece so, down exactly. The only reason, I have, to, the reason down. I have to flesh it out so much and make it and make it so that it's gonna have to be a slow burn like that is because of One Piece and because of stuff like Batman and Superman too. When they do mm -hmm. big stories like Crisis on Infinite Earth, that 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 spans across every DC comic as a whole. So it's little stuff going on in all these different DC comics that goes towards one objective. But think about it in this manner: you can stick to a world yeah. like you know. People stick to certain things and figure out what what works and how they can branch out. Like with Black Clover, Black Clover is right. good in itself, but they're literally only in let's say the world. Yeah, but let's they only say in, the world, yeah, but there's like literally four countries. There, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they still have a vast amount of characters. Yep, and a lot of shit going, all, on. Yeah. Lot of shit going on. So, the, so like with with the one that I have, just real quick, like the guys have created like these worlds on their own. Like it's nine Ooh, different whole worlds, planets. but. My main focus is on this one okay. world that they just started. So the main. So one. it just kind of leaves, and some artists do that, or some writers, I should say, do that, where they leave, it leaves kind of like this foreshadowing of things to come. Mm. For me, yeah, like all these other worlds can interact. You leave yourself way. room to be creative. Well, like you can completely creative. change the story if you want with to. The, with the thing, yeah. instead of me taking the aspect of we in the middle of the war right now, the war over, some, some niggas already won. They the basic rulers of everything right now. Not like super rulers or whatever, but they like the they leaders. They won this time. Yeah, at they this the point. leaders. So y'all, it's their turn right now to be a Nah, I'm going to want to know it ain't, it ain't really how it, they won it. They just so basic. Oh, I'm going to want to know how they won. Ridiculous. I don't want to tell nobody too much. No, that's why I'm just telling y'all like outlines of it. But it's going to be... When what's, think, the, what's the name of it? I don't have a name. You don't have a name on it. Just know every... It's a lot... It's, considering I'm talking about niggas and growing up in the hood, it's a lot of underhanded stuff that us, us three going to be able to relate to immediately. We're going to be sitting there like, this is crazy, y'all. This is a comic book, bro. You know, one thing that I've, I've, white people gonna be looking I've at it like this grabbed, happens. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> one thing that I grabbed as far as like when, even with my title. Um, oh wait, wait, wait. I, I do have a uh, a white supremacist gang too. Oh I have like God. I have like a lot of different. Types that sounds like what Lovecraft Country was probably gonna do for and season I, two. I also have one of the hoods. Oh, so, so different hoods have different. Okay, raw blanket of stuff. Right. One one hood is known for guns. Right. Uh -huh. So we like. Them niggas got them guns, and I put it out, and I make it vague statements like that on purpose at first. I don't know if we go over there, them the niggas with the guns, and we go over there like, 
the fuck? Niggas with some guns, we got guns too. And nigga trying to tell y'all, no, nigga, back in the war, that's not what I mean by guns. And niggas like, man, whatever, we got guns too. We go up over there, niggas get into it over whatever the fuck happened up over there, and they pull out guns. So we all, you know, everybody looking around like, oh, we got guns too. We pull out our guns too. We think we finna have a shootout. Uh -huh. Somebody gun shout out. Uh, say somebody pull the trigger and fucking black hole pop out. They just suck somebody into the gun. Because somebody pull the trigger, fire come out. Or or shoot they self, they got super strength. I get that. Get so like it's like a main concept, but it's used in different ways. Different ways. You could do the same thing with like drugs. Yeah, exactly, and has exactly have have like a scientist, game. like a, a actual scientist. Yeah, you I get the hood, it's, bro. A, it's the storytelling. You, when you when you do it in a general sense. You can pick and choose how it's as simple as Luffy and being a rubber fucking person. Yes, yeah. But what if it was a whole village and they all use? And they all use. But everybody, everybody born got different, different aspects of the rubber. rubber. Like, okay, I can stretch, but I can't stretch, bro. Mm -hmm. can, and then you got stretch. Luffy that can do all that shit. Yeah, he the epitome of. So then I'm gonna have like rubber advertising. It's like top three. It's like always, <laughs> every gang is always top three to top five leaders. Yeah. So they got the best. Attributes of whatever the thing is. I did the and same. That's so crazy. I did the same thing. Mine's is mine. Mine's is based off of uh animals that the god wow. gave to uh gave his power, like twenty five percent of his power to these animals to help. Then the animals are like guys to help the humans mold them into this being that's supposed to help uh bring the world from this cataclysmic thing that's about to happen, and it always happens. It's like a cycle. But I'm I, I gotta let y'all read it, but. <laughs> The same way I want mine to begin, it's the exact same way I want it to end. Yeah. I want it to be a full circle. When it ends, I want everybody to be so fucking mad at me when this shit ends. I want it to go to shit on that <laughs> last chapter so that, that y'all have to come back for more. Storytellers seem to be good when they go to shit. Yeah, when it, when it ends, you like, everybody got fucked up. That's like, why I like... There was no good end. It's not a good ending. It got to end terribly so that the next... I can do another season. That's why I tackle on Titan. so when it ends, it's going to end good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now he's switching. The ending not the same. as Dude fucked up. I, I'm on my main character. My main character is not even gonna survive, yo. My main character is dying at the end of the season to make room for the real main character, which starts the second. I'm trying to do it like that. The, the second season is really y'all first. Everybody first season. But you're letting, every, you're letting everybody know now. Seven people. Wait, two people will be okay. I mean, yeah. we do Listen, we know, do I'm, plan I'm, on I'm, I'm, we I'm, do I'm, plan on other people bigger, to, to. But watch I like this. that they're gonna go back and talk about this because they they would know if they. But they yeah. gotta be diehard collectors. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's cool. And then we just we, we good right now. We just shooting so shit tight, about though. it. And on top, I, I, I get it. Was just a prequel. I get what it. Cause I I'm excited for I even you. like with my the writing that I've been doing with this, and I I'm glad that I was able to like sit get it out like while I was inspired, and then just like leave it there and wait for me to be inspired yes. again. That's what I be doing when I think about. That's when the I, best when time like versus you like oh you write and then your your inspiration kind of dwindles down and now you hey. writing some bullshit or dancing or creating yeah, some can bullshit. Can I ask y'all something real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask y'all something real quick? Tell me how y'all feel about this. This is me going off of we we watch all this shit, so I just want to know how y'all would feel about this generally. The nigga from season one, right? Who we all thought was the main character this whole time, who was the main character for season one? Oh, he died, right? The person on my comic book, okay. he died. So then we get to the end. Of, say we get to the end of a whole series now. This mm -hmm. is the end. I'm just done with it. Dude come back and try to kill the real main character. Now. The person y'all liked. Because this is the nigga that was the main character at first. So we really liked him. Mm -hmm. And it's only going to make... It's only gonna make sense on why he's doing it at the end when I tell him. I feel like there had to be a lot of character development. No, it is. Second. This is supposed to be a slow burn in the first place. I'm okay. forcing it in the first place. I'm for the, I'm not doing like little seasons. I'm doing big fat. I would. I would have did. I, I kind of get with. I kind of get what Sav is saying. I kind of would have done good not to know that though. If it's gonna. Oh no no, this burn. is just an option. I didn't give y'all the other. Option. Oh okay. Oh, okay. the other option is either that happened or. These are options. I got more than these two options. These just the top two. I really like these. I want to know how y'all feel about these. How y'all feel about dude came back randomly? I already like the dude. Uh -huh. Like Marsh randomly come back and fight dude. Okay. You see what I mean? Y'all be like, damn, what the fuck? She trying to kill to eternity, Marsh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit like that. Or, <laughs> or somehow, some way. I don't. Want, but I don't want to do the second one. The second one is somehow he end up being a reincarnation. I'm tired of that though. That's you're, you're, you're like snowballing right now. Yeah. yeah. Because at the beginning of my, I, I just I told y'all. This is my second one. I started. I think year, I think you need to. I think for me, my when I am writing in that mode. Yeah, because I'm only in the beginning. I'm thinking about the end, but I'm same, only in the beginning. Same for me. Like I haven't I haven't even gotten to the end because of just like I've told you the longevity of like I'm trying to create this planet. So hold on, I'm not doing that. I want to know what my I want to know my because I, 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 so I can know how I'm gonna get there. Well, I just wanted. To, I guess for me, I just want my story to be intentionally hitting. Like again. I've given you the religion lore, 
right. that you'll see when I give, when I give you the script. Mm-hmm. I've given you the world lore, and it's more so even the world lore is just like a general of what happened. I haven't even touched like countries or anything like that. I haven't even touched the main character, but because of that. I want to approach every character, whether they be main or not. You're approaching in a way like this is the story. This like, is the, the general story. The scary, before this the, person the even comes in and influences this is to reel you into the story of what's going on in the world and with the religion and all of that. Yeah, I need to find somebody who really know how to draw because that's what I think. That, so, I that's feel that's like, like the main yeah, problem. I feel like that when I'm I find too. an animator, it's gonna really, put, it's gonna really, you know, what I mean, drive me to do like, bro, you drew what I was thinking about, and I really feel good about who you just drew right now. Like, mm-hmm. that's gonna make me feel like. I'm, I should push this more. I'm 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 pushing for you to do this because it, it don't happen. And we and if you know and you read and watch anime as much as we do, you know people are going to be hard on the quality yes. on it, more so than the story of anything. Yes. Like the story is going to sell itself if you really know how to be a good storyteller. That's what you need first. You need the story animation first, yeah. and, a, and, and animation. of that needs to be able to and be in a, that genre. And you want to have original characters now. Yeah. Before, it's 2021 now. Yeah. Like done, unique characters. We tired of the Super yeah. Saiyan Final Fantasy hairdos and, and shit. And Carnation getting the old too. They just did a whole series of that for the past three years. Three, that's, three years. I mean, honestly, I feel like that's the reason why black um, people are being used more in animation and more too. Is. Because like we're, we're so used to, you know, the white yeah. or asian s looking people. Um, and we, when, and we, when just it comes nothing to representing people, us. Yeah, when it comes to black people, and they actually do it right. When they do it right, it looks very, it looks really good in anime. It looks really good. So, what y'all think the white supremacist group uh, blanket powers? <laughs> blanket powers. Blanket powers. <laughs> Entitlement. <laughs> <laughs> they just they're like, if I think you should do it, your body gonna make you do that. No. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? Can Jordan Peele, please, <laughs> can Jordan Peele please produce? It? <laughs> God. God. It's the power of uh. What is it when you when you say something and somehow they mind supremacy? Make it literally, yeah, literally just be that the power of supremacy. They gotta be the number one. They gotta be like their leader. We will, if we I will, say it, you gotta you legit have to have. Yeah. Like, dude, you yeah. legit have to have that type of. You have to have like some type of meeting off that power itself with Man. a whole bunch of different people. I like, you know, this is or do ball. like they do, be the biggest or do ball. even when they have that type of like uh like meetings like that do it where like how you said on uh One Piece they had the diamond uh things to lock their power so it don't influence oh, each other. Yeah. Cause if they have these conversations, so gonna they gonna the leaders, they gonna be influencing each other. If you don't make it into like a so boondocks ish anime, this is what I'm getting. Oh, no, 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 it's definitely gonna be funny. Too. I will, I no, will, I will want my anime. anime. It's gonna get serious out of no, no, That's I'm what I'm saying. saying. Well, I'm saying like I'm with you on that. Like that's how my like how you. I know we all know we all. How you put, and how you post a push out comment to anime? Oh no 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 no. That's not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like when it comes like we've watched boondocks. And we all wish that Boondocks went went the anime route. Like we all wish at some point they just, they just I gave like, us a little bit of fighting up in there. I you know, like, a little bit more. A little bit. You know, yeah. like, I would have watched Boondocks if it went like a, in a you know serious Huey was- version of like what the fuck Huey was yeah. actually going I thought on. Dude was you know, the anime though, wasn't he? When he when he trying to create an anime, the two made Boondocks. That's I'm not what they're sure. trying to do. He, he that's what they're. I don't know if it's even happening anymore. But uh, when they said that the season was supposed to be coming back on HBO Max, that's the, that's what he was trying to do. But I'm not even sure. Right? Yeah, but I'm not even sure if it's even coming back. I don't know. Regina King has to, to do some real interesting shit with that. But, but yeah, but that's yeah. exactly what it gave me. It gave me like you know, Boondocks. You know, that's what I'm our pushing our, from our issues like because Huey, you know, touched on that a lot. Like with. The show being as ridiculous as it was, yeah. Huey was always coming out with some real shit, and then there would be some fight scene in regards to that shit. And I'm like, I wish they really <laughs> expanded on that. And that's what I got from your story. You talking about you know hood and you know anime, all the stuff like that. So uh, country motherfuckers too, love it. In there. You know, and then with those with those type of powers and supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> Mexican there's some cowboy be boots. Though, just be you able, you just better it. be able to present it in a way yep. where it's well received. Because oh, hey. you know, motherfuckers are sensitive too. That's cool, but y'all know me. Number one thing, collective, I'm black. If 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 I put you on there as a Mexican and you on there with some cowboy boots on and a cowboy hat, it's because I literally it's just seen some Mexicans <laughs> in cowboy boots and cowboy hats I don't, I don't think that's out racist. the bar. I don't, I don't, think don't play with me. I go to Mexico and see this. Don't 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 I do this. Like I'm, like I'm lying. No, no, you know. Uh, we got about ten minutes left. Okay, but 
but yeah, what, so, what, what are we gonna end off with? Well, okay, so I we I really wanted to touch on music theory, but we don't have. We going. Wow, we did not. It was a shameless plug. I'm sorry, I did want to talk about. Uh, no, but I actually wanted to we, talk we about snapped. that because, like, it was just crazy. Like last week, we were talking about that, and, and I'm like, we didn't even think about this for an episode it, at all. What? And um, I'm just glad that we were able to like just talk about yes. that. Oh, you talking? Oh, okay, yeah. cool. That's yeah. why I asked you. I'm like, you doing one too? Because we already talk about our shit. I am not a story. I'm not a storyteller. I'm not a storyteller, but um, I am honestly. more for. I'm always for visual and stuff like that. Yeah. And you can read our test our. So be our, be our, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm I'm already finna get y'all my shit. So yeah. I need to. I need y'all input on what like how y'all feel about what y'all are reading because it's going to be a general synopsis, but it's enough for me to feel like I can definitely push this. Why you give me an anime? But, I'm in this bitch. So <laughs> it's a music theory. It. It's a music theory. Real okay. quick. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but um I'm about to I feel like I would have. I really feel you like told I me Uh-oh. about the music thing. Yeah. yeah. So a long time ago, I feel like I would have said something to y'all about this, but a long time ago, when I first started revamp, um, like maybe you did tell me about the yes, the, 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 the thing, the, the music. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So like three, maybe. <laughs> That's that was random. It was so random, bro. Like so random. But I again, I love music. I if it if it sounds good to me, it's been Tekken OSTs that I have in my and literally in my Damn. playlist that, from Tekken, bro. I people don't understand. Like I live this, but that's because I have a love for just music in general. It just so happens that like gaming music kind of like grabs to me because it's just it. If you're already engaged in a game, right. people don't already uh, don't understand that music will help, help you, you that yeah. emotion, help you concentrate, and and it works because I will work out to sometimes to that type of music right. just to kind of keep me focused. Most levels of music go up, yeah, like, up that yeah, yeah, like that's that that helps just change your yep. emotion, and I love having I love that music has that influence on people. So, um, literally, maybe year three of revamp i submitted a sample to this japanese artist that was looking for artists for a contest to have it showcased in this ost for this nintendo mm-hmm. ds game and basically i won that contest for one of the songs and they sent me a check back i spit the check on revamp <laughs> <laughs> you know what time it is i got a check i got i got i got i got mouths to feed hey, he walked in like hey check it out look <laughs> The check on the flow. But check nigga, out. I thought it was fake and everything. Like, what? you know, you know how it was with those uh them scale artists, they be sending you them checks. They'd be like, mm-hmm. Oh, if you send a hundred dollars, you could cash yeah. it this way. Mm-hmm. I thought it was one of them. No, it was legit. Mm-hmm. And he, it was literally for me to like fly there and go and actually see it myself because they wanted me to like listen to it in, in concerts. Because again, people don't know that in J- in Japan, those OSTs for gaming soundtracks, literally for gaming soundtracks, is a big thing. Like it's like the Met Ball, mm-hmm. the, the Met Gala in Japan. Like they really dress up. Oh yeah, Japan. Listen yeah. to they be Facts. into it, but that's how they are with classical music anyway. So I thought it was like an honor in all honesty, but I wasn't paying it no mind. I was trying to get revamp off the ground, and Facts. I didn't even think that it was going to like make it. Like I didn't think it was going to even get that deep. Don't you and wish it, you could have did more with this? Now? So listen, so listen. I'm so glad you said that because like now when I think about, it, I'm like, damn, I really want to like gravitate more towards that but i want to do it in a way where people haven't even thought about doing it in this matter i want it to be where if i make or produce music where i can play around with music like that and it don't be all weird where i'm just like mm. i like the music that i like but i'm not going to present it to y'all and y'all like, uh-huh. <laughs> you know I, it's it's just yeah. like talking to animated people that don't watch anime oh, right you know right, what i'm saying right it's the exact same thing so i want to be able to present it in a way when i get to that point where it's still good overall, and you don't even know that it may have a touch of definitely myself and what I'm inspired by in that regard. First off, in that, <laughs> <laughs> why did JoJo Bizarre Adventure go off with Joe to see that one day? That, that's you know what I'm saying. That one just that's random to everybody. I was like, wait, what? It just went on one else and I watched somebody. So I'm glad um, that brings me now to this. Was it what song was that? Was that freaking? Uh, freak me, freaking you. Just out of nowhere, 
nowhere. Out of nowhere. What? Every freaking night. On JoJo. On, on JoJo at the end of JoJo. Like the like end of the episode. Like episode 13 or something. No, it was it was going for that a season? few episodes. Like the season. No, Every ahead. ending, it was uh, JoJo C. Freak. Every <laughs> ending of the episode. God. Every freaking night. Listen, swear to God. I'm black. Swear to God. Right? So I stood up, right? The first time I played, I was sitting on the couch. And I was looking at my phone. And I heard it come on. And I had to double take it to the team. I'm like, I thought I was watching JoJo. And I just stood up and I said, whoa. So listen, so listen, I, that, that brings up an important part because JoJo always does have like random actual music playing in the endings. Yes, that's the for real ending. Can you play it just a little bit? <laughs> it's for real. Just play a little it's bit. Not like the, a, it's not like a Japanese cover or anything. Just play it in the, um, in the uh, microphone. That's the ending. Mm. Credits to everything. Oh, you're wild. Here you go. This how I came on when the end credits came on. I wake up feeling so. They weren't playing, boy. I can't get you out of my mind. JoJo. JoJo is online. They should have did that. They should have to get on this bitch for real. JoJo. They, they do that. See, like this is why I don't. That's why I'm like. That's why I'm like JoJo. When people tell me JoJo's not gay, I don't JoJo listen to them. Gay. I think it's random. Gay. He's super gay. Like, you know, but look, because JoJo freaking is such you. a random ass song. But then there was another, <laughs> there's another song on the first season of JoJo. No, Lion. The third season of JoJo. There was a song that I heard like my one of my white friend's dad play. <laughs> and, I know this going to be a song. Scene. It was a song. I don't even remember. It was song. a different real song though, right? It was a real song. Yes. Like a Johnny Cash. Yes. Song. And, but it was freaky as hell. They be... but, no, it wasn't freaky, oh, what? but it was just like a random song. So I think that like. What is that? Do they explain why they do that? Really? I think that that's just part of the aesthetic but, of JoJo. Because it's just if random. You watch JoJo. JoJo, JoJo random as fuck. Yeah. Shit. So. There, even the random. reason why people want to do stuff be stupid. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. And that's kind of like the point. Yeah, that man talked about how horny he was. And Bro. I'm just like, oh. He, it went off. JoJo just got done fighting somebody. And, and the next line is, I wake up feeling so horny. So horny. And literally just the boss. Literally just fought just the boss. Just. Every, every time. The first time I played <laughs> really had, I was really sitting there. I like, think bro. I was sitting next to the Every time I played. Yeah. I was like, y'all, do y'all hear this? Yeah. That's what we started talking about. I'm like, bro, that fucked me up. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, but I would respect the respect the JoJo because y'all put Jodeci on TV, well, this, Jodeci that, that, and anime, and you can accept it because it's JoJo. Yeah, that's. I don't think you would. Yeah, no. It. Been, imagine, hey, imagine Attack on Titan come on and it'd be like every time I close my Attack on Titan, you would have thought somebody was real trying to like somebody hacked somebody hacked Attack, Attack on Titan today. Like it wouldn't have made sense, so that's why uh, I talked about it. it was so random, but it fits the aesthetic. Of every cold. time. I... That shit came I'm right, right here. And it's the whole song. How long was that? How long was that? It, it, it was like a whole minute. It was like, it was it was like, like a, a minute and a half. In the, in the, in the chorus. That yeah, was, that a, minute, a minute and a half, yeah. But um, That's even, I say all that to say, like, in music theory, for when it comes to anime, though, even those things are intentional. People mm. think that, like, the soundtracks in certain anime, it doesn't be sometimes, but there are literally, especially in anime, soundtracks that they make specifically. Or yes. And then they start to evoke certain feelings. And on the, I like that that idea. I like again, being yeah. able to like influence people's minds emotionally. Yeah, because like on the off chance where it's like not meant for specifically for the anime, like with the Demon Slayer theme song that wasn't meant for Demon Slayer, it was just a song. Mm-hmm. And then it like, just it went. That, is that like a fact? Or? Yeah, that was her. That was her song before. That was a song before she, had she mm-hmm. put it on. Wow. It became one of the most popular songs. That, and, and, and it's so crazy that you said it because I was going to look up the statistics and that's one of the top three songs. Mm-hmm. And what, what song is this, y'all? It, it's not like... Da, da, de, da, da. Listen, I think that's what season is that? Is that Shippen? That's Shippen. Mm-hmm. When I say that, little motherfucker right there so legendary, I don't even know what that's to. And I hear that, and, and immediately in my head, I'm just like, anime. I don't know what it is, but that's some anime right there. Bro, that is a legendary track. Even the fact that, like, I've heard that same track. Um, I heard that in hip-hop plenty of times. Mm-hmm. So they they, they rehash. Yeah. Like, tra- that, that's another way that people are still Crump tracks, too. They made it. You know, like, they try to make it resonate with them a little bit more. If you they be fucking that up, though. I heard one that was cold. Like, they be that beat music, drop, that bass drop. I'm like, okay. music, like, I used one of them in one of my promotions before. It was like a rap song that used the um that Naruto yeah, that, that uh, sample. I heard that for, it was a hard bass on him. That shit was cold. Oh, my God. Damn. Uh, on oh, a 
Oh my god, what like is YouTube, YouTube mm-hmm. subscribers I've mm-hmm. heard that on. Um, oh yeah, I heard facts. a whole Attack on Titan one. There's a song like the you probably that ball we do we doing that Attack on Titan. Yes. Yep. Oh yeah, my him. god, he wanted to got that Attack on Titan. Cool. It's intro. Yeah, that shit cold. Yes. Also, also get a backbone, guys. I'm getting a backbone soon. Before, but wait, before we, one. before we leave, I do, I did want to say this because we we were on the subject of music. What's your favorite anime opening? Uh, yeah, that's what we wanted to talk about before we got on fire. Everybody, um, list their favorite anime opening of all we got, time. We got three of minutes, all time. We got three minutes to say that. Go ahead. Ah, I gotta go first. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Just say yeah. Um. My favorite anime. Anything probably uh it's something you tie to I, I like anything you tie to Hikaru. Say, say, like as a matter of fact, say say your favorite and then say the best because that could be too. My things. favorite is Sanctuary by Utada. Yeah. What's that? Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Ooh, Sanctuary. And on another end, on the other That's end, a smack of Kingdom Hearts thing. Dearly beloved. Listen, y'all. Yes. When I first heard, the I first instrumental, heard Hearts, yes. That was so good. When I first heard that Kingdom Hearts theme song, y'all, I, I was a The first one? Mm-hmm. Yes. Played it over and, and over again. that shit was so cool. Oh my God. I'm like, I want to go to a club Who now. is this girl singing this? Right. This bitch. <laughs> this flat <laughs> this, booty bitch uh, again. Knocked down off this song. Hey, you thought I got some soul, y'all. What's you the soul? To... That's your favorite. What's the best? Yeah, what's the best? My best is um the Full Metal Alchemist Season oh. three opening. Oh, what's that? Hold on, hold on, y'all, because he ain't getting away with just saying it. I mean, I can't. Have an opinion they're all in. They're in Japanese. I don't remember the song. I, I can't what say it, it in Japanese. It? Season three of uh, Brotherhood. Yeah, I know my. I think the best opening three. Yeah, this is my favorite. Ah, fucking Hershey. Fucking Hershey's, fucking Hershey's commercial. Fucking Hershey. <laughs> Fuck out of here. What? Almond? Somebody want that shit? All right. Yeah. About, I don't know and they gonna play it today? They like man, they gonna play it today or tomorrow? Let's let us know. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The opening itself for the music and then the. Mm-hmm. Hey, what was you just uh, looking at, Tom? Because I don't know what the fuck that was. I, just, I, I hardly could pay attention. I kept looking. I was like, I know. I was looking. I'm like, because like, yeah. they was going at and somebody's. Fast, mm-hmm. I saw a Zoom. What pass. the fuck is Nova doing on there? It's the free quote the champion. So basically, they, they slap the team with the uh, Marvel team? Marvel, the young, like teenager superhero. Oh, they have Marvel all, Outlaws now. Because remember, Outlaws was DC at first. That was Red Hood Group. Yeah. But oh, man, fuck them, man. Marvel always it's, stealing some it's shit. Under that outlaw, outlaw. So basically, oh. Civil War, the Registration Act. They slapped it on the teens where they can no longer be superheroes under the age of twenty-one. Going to watch that when I get home. All right, go ahead, Buddha. <laughs> Wait, that's a it's a movie. No, it's no, a, it's a it's comic. A, oh, I, I, was oh. Reading, I was reading the prequel oh. when it started. So now we go into champions or champions outlaws. All of these superheroes, all these teens can't yeah. be superheroes anymore. Damn, I'm gonna drop the link so in the room. from YouTube in yeah. the chat. Um, so favorite first. Favorite. If we're talking anime, it would be. Oh, I want to say I'm probably wrong at the number. First off, is we all, doing animated or are we doing anime right now? If I, anime, I, right? I can't go through gaming because I got so many ones. So, we doing so anime, anime, anime. I'll say this first: Black Clover has one like majority of their openings. They are be fire. They, they do their thing. Fire. They do their thing. With boy. that being said, my favorite one was remember it's the opening of the season when um they were doing. The matchups to become the Magic Knights. Okay, I think it was like I want to say season. Two? No, that was like season five or oh, let's say opening five. Black Clover. Yeah, that was the reason why you were trying to get me into Black Clover. I remember you was just showing me all the openings. I'm like, the oh, openings be better that. sometimes really better than the um. No, try six. That's a good one too, though. I like that one. That do sound good right now. Yes, that's my favorite. Favorite opening. I love, I love both of Jujutsu Kaisen's Kaisen openings. In, 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 uh, the openings are really good. As a matter of fact, that should have been because the first season hey, of that one, that was hey, my favorite one. Michael's like, I don't even use 
like these bitches. This a bop. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he, at the end, but at the end, he gets to get the crack. He was walking with a little cartoon. And yeah, and like, and like, like, so on some real shit, regardless of how you may feel, you might be like, damn, that shit's goofy as a motherfucker that, wrong, that I feel. Like, right but you be listening to the shit and it be motherfucker. good. Not to bring up Utada again, but Utada Hikaru to your eternity opening was good. Too. Yeah, I forgot that. And that's where the guy. She sung like, that too. Damn, bitch. That was nice. But the first off. The, that's the same girl? Yes, that's Utah Hikaru. That bitch. That's the bitch. That, that bitch. <laughs> that's the best, bitch. The best, the best <laughs> opening, her. though, oh. for me okay. is Bleach opening 13. Yeah. 13. yeah. 13. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bleach opening 13. Hold on, let's see. The eyes, and right at the end of the eyes and heart. First off, you just snapped with that. I knew, I knew that one by heart. Ended, ended cold, too. Yeah. yeah. She's so, so ending better than opening for me. I like the end. Who is that on the end? Is that the same girl, too? Because if it is, she is nuts. No, I don't know. She needs to sit down. I just like the violin in the, at the end. Like, why wouldn't it come on? Oh, Rambo on no Melody? I remember this. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, everybody know that one. Can, can you even hear that in the. I'm pretty sure you can. Now you can. I, can I love that one. That's when I was watching Bleach, like, like royally when it was coming out. That shit used to get me so high that's watching that. All right, all right, guys. That's my favorite. Like, because I was watching Bleach. So what's the best at the, one? That's the best one. Yeah. Okay. That's the best one for me. So, Guns, what's your two? And then we're going to end off with that. Yeah. Favorite, I don't have to play it. Oh, yeah. It's Yu Yu Hakusho. It's my favorite of all time. Listen, who sing next? Who sing Smile Bomb? Utada. Hey, if it's her, that coochie good as eight. We both trying to fuck with other Utada. That'd be so funny if it actually was, though. That would be so funny. I'm going to put Smile. I need to know who sings it. If I see you, I'm, 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 I swear to God, even the English version. I, that, that's the the English version is what got me. Bro, that's no sin. It's the same way. Sarah White. Sarah White. Never heard of her. Oh, that's the English one, right? Yeah. The Japanese one too. Yeah, it's the English one, I believe. Who the uh, Japanese? One? Japanese singer is. Matsuko. Oh wow! Mawatari. Oh, wow. I know who that the is. fuck out of that too. I know who that is. She see, she see a cover of uh, "Plastic Love." <laughs> "Plastic Love" is an old '70s uh, song that I like. Oh, the English motherfucker, they snapped some vocals. Like old Japanese. Song. I fuck with Matsuko singing on there, the original version. And well, I fuck with the dub version. That's a really good song. So that's your favorite. What's your best? That it's a bop. It's a bop. It's definitely. You can't front on what. I remember being little and that came on late at night. The no, first I time I ever you, heard it. I got to show you the video on. of somebody dancing to that song, though. All right. Oh, after, after the show. After the show. Yeah, after the hey, show. And then what's your, what's your really, favorite? Oh, shit. Best, best Pokemon. I huh. should Okay. Known. Pokemon is the best anime. I okay. Known. I'm talking about the English version. The English version of, be. of the first season of Pokemon is the best anime Intro of uh, do y'all hear, dude? Oh, you my was definitely nigga, singing. You was definitely singing it when it came, bro. Up. All of us, my, my nigga thought heart. that was Michael Jackson his entire <laughs> life. Yeah, That's I how good that, yeah. I'm Michael Jackson. I want to be. If y'all go, if y'all walking through it, if y'all walking <laughs> anywhere, I don't know. Y'all could be in the hoodest place of all time, bro. And for some reason, you got the microphone and you get to singing that. I bet Everybody. you everybody can sing it. Dun, there's no, dun, there's dun, not dun, one dun. person who don't know the lyrics to that. Yeah, yeah. Children know this song. So yeah. before we end off, too. I want to go to uh, what Tone was saying about Cowboy Bebop being oh, uh, the best. Actually, statistically, it is the top. Oh, yeah. They, 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 I, I'm about to say, I, I thought they won awards for that. Sound, and, and, to, and to prove his point, soundtrack. Yeah, sound the whole thing. The whole, yeah, the soundtrack. whole thing, yeah. Soundtrack, soundtrack for sure. Sh- I, I, I thought uh, he was lying about it. I had to look no, it no, up. No, no, no. Yeah, they won awards. And your man's uh, Samurai Champloo. You know, the dude from Bebop is yeah. the same dude from Champloo. Yeah. We're making that you music, too. Oh, yeah. Who who your favorite anime? Thanks. Music. Samurai Jack. I fuck with you. I like Samurai Jack. That ain't anime. Jack. That ain't anime. That's cartoon, bro. <laughs> it came on Toonami. I mean, it's got to be. Man, that shit came on Cartoon Network, too. So did Pokemon. It, it was, like at, the, me, it was at the like border. This, uh, it was at the border. It was so much of a cartoon when it came on. It literally said cartoon, cartoon. It was transition. <laughs> It was, the, it was, yeah, that was the, it was the transition between. Man, the that is the fucking professor from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a transition. It's literally a cartoon. Well, where's the lie? He got mad. Where's he, the lie? He lost, girl saying, he 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 lost, he lost, he lost his daughters, and that's why he's taking exactly. out revenge. Lost his daughter, got pushed into the future by <laughs> Aku. Aku. Aku the one killed him. Aku the one killed the Powerpuff Girls, y'all. We, 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 I am Mojo these, Jojo's cousin. Aku is Mojo Jojo, y'all. 
I swear to God, yeah. look at the face. He got a monkey face, y'all. Jojo, Jojo, Jojo. And Jojo, Jojo, Jojo is really, a, really Professor monkey. Kid in the first place. That was the first experiment. Y'all are Damn. Wow. We're One not, day we're gonna, we're not gonna unpack, we need to have a show. We need to have a we're show not about unpack uh, Rabbit Hole Girls. We're not going to unpack. Jesus Christ. Unpack. Why we do that? We'll be, we'll be here for but three, it be, four it be like hours. Anime, comic book shit, but it, it should be about rap. Like, we talk about stuff that could be happening. You know what I mean? Four oh, yeah. Shit. yeah. Like, we've had conspiracy talks before. We can do that. We've done whole episodes of different shows. Oh, I got an idea for that, but we're going to talk about that. Titties. <laughs> we're gonna end this episode out. This is, has been episode 13. Oh, really quick before we go, really, really quick. I am hosting a fashion show that is coming out tonight. Um it's at the bar clay in Milwaukee. I don't know the address exactly. If you if you want, if you want uh tickets, look up House of OTA Fashion Show on Eventbrite. That is again House of OTA Fashion Show. On Eventbrite, tickets are $35. If you want the VIP and you want to eat because you want a snack, a snack while you watch, it is $65 for a plate. Uh, and I will be hosting, doing my thug thizzle. So. Hey, two of the models are TDR approved. And yes, two other models are definitely TDR approved. So please be on the lookout for all of the footage that you will be seeing. And if you want to just be in the building, get you a ticket. This has been episode 13. <laughs> Yelled at him and didn't say it. <laughs> Get you a ticket. All right, this episode. This episode 13, and we are out. Thank y'all.